All right, wherever you are, let's go ahead and stand up and let's warm up. And I think today I kind of wanna do just like a jazz lyrical type warm up. Hopefully that will be good to get warm and a little bit stretched out, but hopefully not too much. I'm hoping that everybody's already kind of warm, maybe, just purely because it's a hot day. Or it's gearing up to be a hot day anyway. Let's do that. This music is a little bit too chilled out, but that's all right. We'll start with some head rolls and stuff. Come on out, feet wide, toes forward. Let me turn on the chat because I feel like I can't communicate with you. All right, let's roll the head, just like a little circle first. Make sure you go both ways. Let's do that again. See if you can open your shoulders a little bit more as you go second time around. And lift up your sternum a bit. And then another way. All right, let's just roll shoulders back, nice and slow. If you're kind of ready for it, take a knee bend with your shoulder rolls, just so you're starting to get a little bit more of your body moving. And it's all resisted, so let's reverse those. This is like springs press, stretching out and pressing down. So at no point in time are you just dropping into your Flexion. All right, let's roll the chin down. Keep going. Let the head hang, let the head lead the way, super duper heavy. And when you get through, just shake it out, hang out. It's okay if your hands aren't touching the floor. Our feet are pretty close together still. And then go ahead and bend your knees. And stretch. Bend again. And stretch. Again. Roll up, belly button leads you all the way to the top. Let's take it in first. Same thing, chin goes first. Two, three, if you feel that stretch a little bit differently and just shake your head out. No worries if you're not touching the floor, just try to keep your legs tight together. And then go ahead and bend the knees, plie, and stretch. Again, plie, and stretch. Plie, drop the tailbone, roll up. Let's take the feet wide and let's reach side to side. Reach, 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 reach. Again, the bops are just too, too soft. All right, let's just go bounce here. It'll pick up in a second. Bounce, bounce, knees right over toes. So we're still working on your alignment for ballet and then let's go ahead and scoop it all the way up shake it out nice and slow and then one more time just a couple bounces bounce 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 scoop it up let's go ahead and tip over to one side with little port bra arms lift yourself up twist a little bit to the corner and try to stretch out flat back Stick your tailbone out. Drop everything down to one ankle. And just shake your head out. You can bend that knee just a little bit. Bring it back into the center. Big plie turned out. A couple more. And then go ahead and turn the toes in plie, roll it up, roll the shoulders back if you need, let's reset, let's do other side, it's very quiet, oh my mic's in the wrong place too, all right, whatever, let's go, reach over to one side, nice rounded porta bra, then lift up and stretch out your back, tailbone extending out to one end, crown of head all the way to the other end, and then drop everything down to one ankle.
If it feels good, go ahead and bend that knee a little bit too, just to test out for your stretches on your other leg. And then bring everything to center, keep the toes turned out, head hanging down. Let's do a couple of plies down here. I think we did four on the other side. Just at your own pace. If you can go with the music or through it. And then go ahead and turn the toes in. Okay. Roll everything up. Let's heel toe into first position. I'm gonna move my mic over so that you can actually hear me. Hopefully that's better. Let's finish with a couple of rises here and maybe some swings, because why not? It should feel good. So let's come to parallel. Just walk through a little bit first. We're gonna go plie in parallel. Roll through, rise up, lower down again. Plie, roll through, rise up. Two more like that. Spread your toes out, grip into the floor like a gecko or Spider Man. And then let's reverse that sequence. Rise up first, then knees, but keep the ankles straight. All right, they're still extended. Then you let the ankles relax a little bit so you get the heels down and then stretch. So let's do it to speed, knees, then heels come down. Lift. Let's do one more because the first one was slow. And then go ahead and just take a rise. Take your eyes away from the, um, whatever you're watching. <laughs> I don't know, laptop, iPad, whatever. Um, take them eye level. Find something to look at. And just get up really tall on top of your ankles, on top of your knees, hips right on top. Check that you're not relaxing into the hip crease. This is nice and flat at the front here, stretched out. And ribs are stacked right on top. Shoulders are nice and open. Keep pulling your heels up higher, even more. And then let's take the arms up to the Careful that elbows aren't flying forward. All right, let's lower, let's turn out to first position, same sequence here, so let's go plie, roll through, rise up, squeeze the inner thighs toward each other, lower down. You don't need to squeeze your glutes a lot, but squeeze inner thighs in toward each other. And then keep on finding this external rotation, wrapping around your legs continuously. up first, straight on top, just the knees go, heels press down, and come back up. Again, same thing, stretch, just the knees, just the heels, stretch. Two more here, lower down, and one last one, all the way through the sequence. All right, now as you rise, let's turn it in. Turn it out. You're just pivoting on the balls of your feet. Take your hands, if it helps, take them like right underneath your uh, the crease of your bum just to make sure that you're actually relaxed and you're not squeezing too hard in there. You can relax your glutes. That work is happening deeper than the glutes. All right, plie rest. Rock side to side for a second. You can let go of some of the technique just for a little bit to let your joints find other places to go besides your ballet pathways. Let's turn it in. We're going to go ahead and drop everything through. So when you do it, you're going to sit all the way down, drop everything, including head, and then scoop yourself up. And if you want, you can take an extra bonus arm circle with a rise just to kind of soften through everything. Drop. Keep going, just a bunch. Should feel nice. Maybe it's hot in whatever room you're in, so you're creating a little bit of a breeze for yourself. Keep going. Try to keep knees right on top of toes as you drop. Last couple here. Last one. 
let's come to the bar, do some plies. Kind of reset yourself if you need, drink water if you need. We'll do the same plie exercise as last time with like the full port de bras and a little bit more, oops, oh no, I lost it. A little bit more uh, of your circular, circular port de bras. All right, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> All right. So, hopefully, you have something set up where you can hold on about shoulder. Uh, what is it? Elbow height for the bar. And once you get there, let's find your first position. We'll just talk through it first thing. It'd be great if I had my music super duper ready to go, but I never do. All right, music. You look okay. Um, we had in first position. Arm is down, bra ba. You had okay. Sorry, we had two demi plies, one grand. So for the two demi plies, it's just a half bend. Your heels are on the floor. We're gonna take the arm through all the way to the top. So through second, and then all the way up to fifth. Again, these pathways are super prescribed, so careful that you're not like getting there some other way. You carve directly to second, you carve directly to fifth, and then in our grand play, we follow that pathway in reverse, carve through second, keeping this lifted through, bra ba. Careful that you don't swing the heels back like I just did. Keep them right on top, lower the heels down, and open. Here we did um, just port de bra front, keeping the turnout here. So part of our front, lift it up, and then lift to do cumbre back, looking past your elbow, so if it's blocking your face, open it a little bit more, and then tendu side, lower down. We do the whole exact same sequence in second, pretty much. Demi, demi, grand play heels stay on the floor because you have more range when your legs are wide. Over to the bar, Recover through first to second, over to the other side, recover. Tondu, carry the foot forward to fourth position, a little bit of distance between the legs, make sure that they are turned out from the top. Same thing here, arm is down, demi, demi, ground play all the way down. We did a little circular, so here you can open the shoulder, just allow, allow it to fly back a little bit, carve around the side down, Carve around toward the bar. Last time we just lifted straight up. You can do that, or if you want, you can complete the circular and go around to the back and recover. There's enough music that you should, shouldn't feel rushed going all the way around. Up to you if you want to try it. Otherwise, keep it simple, just do the halfway. And then same thing here, demi, demi, ground play, making sure your knees don't accidentally twist open. We start our circular with a little swoop inward and present like, here, watch my hand. I'm going to show you something beautiful. If you keep watching it, all the way around to the back, over to the side. Last time we finished by coming straight up. But if you want to, you can finish by going all the way down and carving all the way around. And then we'll scoop up and take a balance here. So Sue, again, remember, you're gonna cross that leg all the way and keep them tight together. So those port de bras, you can either do halfway, so finish toward the bar and then recover, or you can finish the remainder of the rotation too. If you're doing that, just careful that it's not your hips that are doing that, it's above the hips. So it's smaller than you than you think it is. Oops, sorry, music. Stop, please, no. It's not, <laughs> I don't even think it's the cord, I think it's, it's just my phone. This phone is like four years old, so, you know, it's dying. All right, so we have our ballet playlist, starting in first position. Let's go do some plies. Are you gonna be too loud or perfect volume? Demi plie. Sorry, it's a little bit loud. Oh, I did the arm wrong. Here, to the top. Then, ground plie. Scoop up, get the heels down. Keep the 
see where they are. Side forward. Lift up. And then lift up to go over. Top your side. Lower. Drop the arm. And we restart with the arm. Carve directly to second. Carve directly to fifth. The shoulder relaxed. Grand plié. Check that back leg, make sure that it doesn't swing inward. Let's fly open and all the way down, all the way around. Recover here if you want, or do a little bit more. Tondu, squeeze into third or fifth, demi plie. Squeeze up, grand plie. Take your eyes around the space. And rest. That circular port de bras, you'll feel that kind of mid-spine area. All right, let's switch over to the other side. So reset if there's anything you need to reset. And I will restart the song. Closer microphone. All right, let's go. Second side. Starting from first. Right on top of your legs. Again, just checking that this hip crease here is not pinched. You're almost trying to lift your pelvis off of your legs, if you can kind of imagine that. All right, from the bottom to the top, here we go. Lift the arm to second, all the way up to fifth, and then all the way back down, but following the same little curved pathway. Keep the legs tight together to squeeze forward. Lower in second position, drop the arm, reset. And grand plie. First, we go toward the bar. Again, or I guess he could 
can stay on the same side. It might be confusing to watch though. Tondu, last week we did um, we did a version that was like the same as what we're doing in center. So let's go with that. I'm gonna make one small change, but that's it. So let's quickly remember this thing. We have working leg starts in front, either in fifth or in third, just part way across. Um, arms, we kind of sort of did what we were doing in the center with the arms. So the feet basically are four tendus to the front, one susu, so they come tight together when you rise rather than leaving space between your ankles. They come tight together, lower, and then you have your little retire passe. You can do it on flat if you want, if that's more comfortable, or go ahead and squeeze up on rise, bring it around to the back. Um, again, we kind of talked about this last week. Most of the time, we want to show the forward position here rather than the backward position or even side. Some schools will show side a lot, but we like the forward position. If we hold this one more and then close to the back. When you're coming from the back, we like go directly forward because this is the one that we want people to see, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, when you lift though, to make it look extra weightless, see if you can lift a little bit before you switch. Same thing here. Well, not so much when you're coming from the back, but anyways, um, you know, rather than just allowing it to flop. Okay, those are details we don't care about right now. We have four tendus, so the arm, let's go. Uh, let's do a little full quarter right here. One tendu, two, three, four, plie, susu. Let's take the arm, let's go susu, plie, and when we do the change, we'll open the arm. Passe, change. And then we go to the back, same thing. One, two, three, four, plie, susu, plie, change, lower. Then to the side, did we do that? Yes, side. One, change every time. Two, forgot the arm. Three, four, plie, susu, plie, passe, change. And then at the end, we just did tendus in first. Let's do glisses and let's do them fast. So it's a little bit of a brush, brush, brush. The toe can come off the floor this much, very small. But just because it's a brush doesn't mean you can like, you know, get really loose with it. Every time you close, stand on it, put your heel down if you can. You should feel that working back here if you are trying to stand every time you close. Good practice to get into. All right, let's listen and then we'll do it. We had our little tango. Tango, tango. There, this one. Oh, maybe we didn't. No, it's fine. One, two, three, four, susu, plie, passe, change. Then we went back. Accent out is okay for this one. Four, susu, and change. Then we do side. Two, three, four, plie up, then plie, change. And then these glisses, you can go slow here, or you can go quick, 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 quick. But still try to stand on it every time. Then we'll do the whole thing from the back. So when you finish your glisses, that was, anyways, see if you can remember to close back, otherwise no big deal because you can go anywhere from first. We'll reverse the whole thing. Let's do it. Let's replay the song. Okay. A little bit louder for us. Here we go. Take the arm to second. Accent. Out. Close. Two. Three, four, plie, susu. Am I going way slow? I don't think so. Test your balance if you want. Close back. Tondu, close. Two, close. Three, and four, plie, susu. Lower, change. 
side. One, cross all the way back. Two, cross front. Oh, I think I did go super slow. My bad, that was alright. Let's do two. It felt slow. Let's do slow and fast because it's just good for us. Here we go, then. This is a lot of glimpses. And you're going fast or slow. 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 Your choice, you can go quick. Alright, good, because I did I was like, we're missing a glisse drill today, but that's good, we'll do it. Let's repeat, let's go quick and reverse. Restart. I think our old exercise to this music did go slow. Let's take our through second. We go out close. Two, three, with the arm going around. Oh gosh. Well, I can remember my exercises. Back. Two, three, four. Plie susu. And change side. One, two, three, four. If the arms are just way overkill for you, don't do them. That's okay. You can go slow here. You can take arm wherever you need to take it for this exercise. And then we reverse to the back. Go tondu. Two, three, four. Plie susu. And change to the front. Plie susu. And change to the side. Side. We gotta do both versions now. Gotta do it. Um, by the end of this thing, you should be feeling a lot going on up here because we've done it so much. Let's do second leg. Slow version and then fast version. So you can catch your bearings here a little bit. One. Close it in. Two. Lots of music here to test your balance. And then we reverse it. One, two, three, four. Plie susu. Lower. Bring the foot to the front. To the side. Here we go. One. Chance to do this 
this in front of a mirror, or honestly, better yet, take a video of yourself doing those quick glisses, and just check that you're not wiggling here when you do it. It'll feel like you're not, but you might be. Okay, that was a lot, so grab a drink if you need it. And then we're gonna do a new Ronde de Jaune today. Um, yeah, we didn't do Ronde de Jaune last week, so let's come back to this a little bit. I'm gonna play the song, but please continue to breathe and rest if you need. Here we go. Just listen for a moment. It's slow, and we're gonna try to do it twice through. So pace yourself. It's a little bit of a a dodge, I guess, rond de jam and fondue. We could do a double speed, but I don't want to. And then it keeps on going. So let's talk about it. Um, our old Ronde de Jambe exercise, we did like half Ronde de Jambes, and then we went all the way around. <clears throat> We're just gonna do the full ones. So th this is an exercise I've done before. If you've done class with me before, you've probably seen it. Combo Ronde de Jambe and Fondue. Sequence is simple enough. We're going to do Ronde de Jambe front, all the way around, just regular. Two, all the way around. Then grand round de jambe, so through first position plie, three or whatever, four, five, six, seven, eight. We finish the eight count. Yeah, one, two, three, four. This is five, six, seven, eight. And this is so slow with this song. So really take your time to show every bit of that pathway. Try not to skip anything. These are all landmarks along the way that you need to check off of your road trip map or whatever. So show this one, and you can look at your toe or your hand or whatever as they travel across the lands. And then you arrive, and my gun, my shoulder is flipped open a little bit here just to finish that line. But careful as you do this that you're not sticking this out. This is still lifted. It's like I'm just standing here, like whatever here, but I've decided to open my shoulder a little bit. It's up. All right. We've arrived, then we're going to brush through. This is a bat more long, you're just lifting the leg straight. If it's bent, if you're having a hard time keeping it extended, you've gone too far, step back, and just keep it where you can keep it like pulling out of center straight as you can. This is good. Even here, this is perfectly good. Work there without losing your turnout or your extension. We're going to lift front, 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 fondue, fondue, fondue. We've done fondue already. Make sure both knees are open. We go side, side, side. They extend together. Fondue, fondue, fondue. They bend together. And then right behind you, same thing. Extend back, back, back. But we're going to hold this for a few extra counts before we close. And then we reverse the whole thing. So you have two regular run de jambes, then one slow one that takes you all the way around. If you want to do reverse arm, go for it. I always do the same arm. Then we brush back, 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 fondue, 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 side, 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 fondue, 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 front, 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 hold it, 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 close. That's where the music repeats again, so we could keep going. I might, sheesh, I might stop it though for today just in the interest of time because we're introducing this exercise. Next week, we'll probably do it twice through. So, you guys heard it, but here it is. Uh, it got quiet again. 
So it's slow. These are your bongo drums here. One, two, show this, show that. This is nice and slow. Seven, eight. And then you play fondue, 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 like that. Okay, let's go from the top. Here we go. Starting in fifth, may as well. Let's just breathe with the arm and with your lungs too. Here we go. Front, open. Stay lifted for these ones. Nothing fancy. Plie. Take it around. All the way back. And we brush through. Front, fondue, 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 side. Fondue, 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 back, hold, hold, test your balance if you want, close. Now we reverse, back, around, two, around, grand round de jean, six, seven, eight. We rush behind you, back, 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 fondue, fondue, fondue. I think we can do it again, it didn't seem as long as I thought it was. Hold. If you want to do it again, let's do it again. Maybe take the leg a little bit higher on your fondue's second round. Plie. Take it around slowly. Try to keep that turnout. We lift up, up, up. Fondue, fondue, fondue. Hold. Test your balance. Regular round de jambe. Again. With plie. Nice and slow. Then we lift. Back, back, back. Hold. Perhaps the hardest hold right here. <laughs> You'll feel that. Holds to the front. All right, catch your breath for a second. And then we'll reset to the other side. Twice through, I think, is okay. I think we got this. I think we can do it. Yeah. All right. Sort of ready, I hope. Let's start in third or fifth on the second side. Remember, I'm turning my body just because I'm dancing in a corner and I can't extend my leg to the back. And also, you can't see my leg to the back. That's why I'm turning, but you can probably stay facing your same direction. Front, around, two, around, with plie. Look it into your hand, take it around with you. We brush front, front, keep it low for the first round just to test out these pathways. Hold. Lift the front of your hips. Close. Then we reverse. Regular. Around. Two. Keep this so straight. Even here. Keep this one super duper straight. We brush back. On do, on do, on do side. Set. Here we go. A little higher if you want this time. Plie. Track this. Here we go. Brush. Fondue, fondue. Hold here. Lift the front of the hips still, even if your leg is high.
think I want to go into center. All ready. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think we need to do another adage, so let's come to center. Check our time quickly. Let's remember our port de bras. Let's do it faster this time, because we did slow version last time. Um, and then I want to give you guys a new one. So, let's find out how it goes. I think it's the same music, yeah it is. This is the one where we start with our plié chassé. So we're in center now, facing your little corner, working leg is crossed in front, or you know, front, whatever. Anyway, the front leg in your position is also in front to the audience. We start with our plié chassé, so you must plié first before you chassé. <laughs> go bend, soften everything, plié, chassé, slide the front foot out. Now when you get to the fourth position or a little bit bigger, extend onto the front leg. This one is weightless. You can tap it, you can move it where we've done a transfer of weight. Plié, chassé to arabesque. If you want to challenge yourself, you can take a little arabesque here. Then we do a tonnelier, we transfer the weight again. So we're going plié back into our position, and we're gonna stretch it the other way. Let me remember my arms. I think we just did one arm. The same arm is doing a little fancy dance up here. Plié, chassé goes to the front arabesque, so as not to block your line here. Plie, again, it's going to soften, it's going to come up to this big open position. Again, we're not blocking your face, you're open to the audience. From here, this leg is going to do a round de jambe around all the way as the arm comes open. Let's see, maybe we want to take the arm back to arabesque to make it fancier. So from here, it's just going to soften to here because I want to take the round de jambe to a plie. We're going to immediately scoop that back leg under, pas de ferre, so we've replaced the foot, back, side, front, the leg that was previously behind has now come to the front, and it's going to do one more tendu to here, and close. Same leg, we could do the other leg, but just to preserve your turnout, let's do this leg. And as I slightly shift my body to the corner, I'm allowing this foot to move, but on the ball of my foot, not on the heel. So here, and close. It's almost like these that we do in the warm-up. That's, that's what that is. We go here to close. We do second side, plie, chasse to arabesque. Plie, soften the arm, bring it up. Rond de jambe, the arm comes back down to arabesque, plie. Scoop under, backside front, tendu, and close. That tendu close is quick, um, especially when we're doing it fast. Let's listen. Let's mark through. Oops. Listen and mark, or watch. So this is here. We're going a quick version this time. One, two, tendu back. Three, four, front to jump. Five, Six, pas de beret. Seven, tendu, eight. And other way. Here, tendu, eight, back. Here, round de jambe, around. Plié, pas de beret. Ba, 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 tendu, close. And then we do it again. That little pas de beret is a little bit quick. As soon as you get around, you're already ready to cut under. Pa, De bere, tendu, close, plie. Let's just try it. Let's do twice through. We could do it four times through. The song is very long, but let's just do twice. So settle yourself, quasi, and let's do it. Breathe, plie, 
plie first. Chasse to arabesque, plie back, tendu, rond de jambe to plie, pas de right under. One, two, three, tendu, close plie. Arabesque, plie to tendu, rond de jambe to plie, cut under. Ba, 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 tendu, and again chasse. Plie to tendu, round de jambe to plie, cut under, one, two, three, tendu, and plie chasse, plie, round de jambe around, to plie, cut under, one, two, three, tendu, close, and it keeps going. We're gonna rest there. Cause I want to do another one. <sighs> We're also going to be changing these same directions in this one. And we also have a pas de beret, but this time we're going to do pas de beret different. We're going to do a different, um, this is like a point exercise, but it's good on flat too. So, let us do that. It starts in the same position. Um, let me give you a visual really quick. <laughs> imagine, okay, imagine that you are dancing on a lake and there are lily pads and you have to very gingerly step on the lily pads and that's, that's the thing. Okay, so here we are in Quasé. You're going to plie, brush this foot out. This one pretty much can stay straight. Brush it out, plie. There's a lily pad right there that you're aiming for. It's like slightly too far, so you're going to step a little bit forward and then squeeze everything in super tight so you're balanced right on the center of this little lily pad. Test this out. It probably will take a second if you've never done this before to figure out like, oh I have not gone far enough or like, oh no I've gone too far and I'm going to fall forward. Um, give it a couple tries. See where you can go so that it's like not right there, it's like a little bit further and you have to lean, 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 and then squeeze that back leg in super tight and catch yourself here, and then lower down, okay? We're gonna go to the front, to the side, to the back, and then do a little other fancy stuff. We have plie here, tendu, and then step up, up. Whoa, catch your balance. Take your heart a little bit more forward than you think you should. It's a lot easier to catch yourself if you're leaning over than if you have a going far enough and this is all open and your core isn't engaged. Here we go. Up, up, lower down. As you lower, you can prepare that foot. You know what? Let's do easier arms. Let's go to first position arms. As you lower, it's going to brush out to a little demi second here. Up, up. I've changed my foot to make it look fancy and also so that you're facing quasi. Here. This one comes tight into the front, lower, as you prepare, the back leg now, step back, back, and lower here. Okay, those are the three. So we have breathe, brush, step front, lower, lower, step side, lower, lower, step back, and as you lower, we're going to plie, Coupe, back foot. You're gonna peel the back foot off and just take it kind of ankle to ankle here. This is a prep for a pas de beret. So previously we did it like this. We just went cut to do pas de beret. You can also do it from a little coupe, pas de beret. We're gonna do an even fancier one. We're gonna do a pas de beret up here with retiré. Like you were, yeah, like I said, it's like a point exercise. So when we land here, let's see, how did we get there? We stepped back as you lower. When you take your coupe, take the opposite arm in front. If you can keep that in your head, otherwise don't worry about the arms. Just take them here or side. You're going to lift up, cut, change, lower. It's the same as a port de bras, back, side, Front, part of bras, not part of bras, part of beret. Backside front, 
And now we're just doing it bigger. Back, step side, lower front. I know this probably is like overkill of detail for some of you, but for others it may be just exactly the amount of detail that we need. So that's why we're doing it. We have pas de bray one, two, plie. And then the last thing we're gonna add is a little tongue de cuisse. This is more of an allegro step, but I think it fits nicely here. It's a fancy little sisson. If you've done sisson before, super. If not, don't worry about it. This is tongue de cuisse. So you're gonna take the back leg, switch it, to the front and it's not just like a step you're peeling it off and you're placing it back down it's like you're doing a little passe change but it's just ankle height switch and then from here like a little frog jumping from lily pad to lily pad we're going to hop to the side and land little side hop and the leg that's following extends because like it's trailing behind you here in the area in this position that's it that's what that is if jumping isn't working for you that's okay do your little switch and plie to so do a little extension and close back down if you want to jump do the jump so then you're ready to go to the other side um let's talk about the whole thing once through because there's a couple things going on here so we're here facing this side what time is it? Oh, hold on, like a little over. Okay, we're good. Yay! We start on your first lily pad, and we're stepping here, brush front, step front, front, lower, sorry, wrong arms, first position arms, lower, 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 step side, cross this in front so that you're facing your corner, lower, 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 step back, lower, 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 fondue, here, little coupe back. You're gonna do your big pas de bray. One and two, plie three, four. We change the foot. Five, tongue de cuisse or just stretch this front leg. Six, seven, we rest. Then we do the other side. Brush, front step, lower down, prepare to the side, step up, up. Lower, lower, prepare back. Lower, coupe back leg, then we do pas de bray up, up, down, lower yourself, change the back leg, it comes from back to front, and then hop sideways, or just extend lower. But as you do that extend lower, see if you can lower facing the new corner so that we're all the same. Bump, bump, extend. You'll notice that as I do the ton de cuisse, I've got like opposite arm as leg here. If that's comfortable, do it. Otherwise, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna like ask for it. Ton de cuisse has weird arms here. And then finish. Let's play a song. Let's see what might fit with this. And see if we can mark out some of the movements. It's like half allegro, half point <laughs> prep exercise. How about this? It's a little bit quick, actually. It's not too quick. Just the first part is quick. Up, up. This is not a bad one. This is a, a Tondu song. I like that it's light too, because maybe it makes you feel a little bit more on top when you do it. Um, how about this one? Even faster! Oh no! No, I don't like that one. Let's try the first one. It's gonna be challenging to get right on top quickly for those for the first half, but work with it. And let's uh, see how it goes. Okay, I'll restart it. Hold on. It repeats, so we have a chance to do it a couple times. Here we go, ready? Plie, up, 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 plie, coupe, lift, pas, dip, break, change, ton 
morning breeze. Other way. Next week. Uh, if you notice, it's always the same leg leading. The slide steps, the slide steps, that leg keeps on going to the back too, because you change. Let's do a little reverence, and then I shall let you go. This one? Sure. Here we go, breathe. Thank you all of you guys for joining. or something because it's very warm. <laughs> Thank you for dancing with me. Uh, I'll see you next Monday. Wait, yeah, there's no like holidays or anything. I'll see you next Monday. Um, we'll pick up, we'll keep going with some of the same stuff. Have a lovely week and weekend and I'll see you on whatever that day is. The 27th, 28th, 28th. Goodbye friends. Thank you.